gives this woman to be married to this man? I, her father, Richard Lockyer. You may not take the hand of your brother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you two make a charming couple. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> <laughs> may be seated. Dearly beloved, we were gathered here today to join this man and this woman together in holy matrimony. If there's anyone here who knows just cause why these two should not be legally joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. <laughs> Before we begin, I want to read a poem for the, for the groom to be. In this world full of heart and pain, I need someone who will help me through the rain. To comfort me when I'm sad, doing everything just to make me glad. In this world, I would need a brave knight who would never give up on any fight. A knight who would dry away my tears, telling me to overcome my fears. A knight who loves me for who I am inside. With him, there's nothing more I need to hide. A person who will stand still and be strong, even though everything has gone wrong. I need someone who is willing to give me more, someone I can call my knight in shining armor. Today we are gathered here because of the love that has brought David and Rochelle together. As we stand here on the precipice of them joining together to become one, we celebrate the unity that they have formed and the love that is going to continue inside of them. David, do you take this woman to be a lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold her, to honor and to respect her, and to keep yourself only unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Rochelle, yes. do you take this man to be a lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold him, to honor and to respect him, and to keep yourself only unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring for your bride? <coughs> <laughs> David, as you're placing the ring upon Rochelle's finger, I want you to look into her eyes and from your heart, I want you to repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I, David. I, David. Take you, Rochelle. I take you, Rochelle. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I do solemnly swear. And I do solemnly swear. To love you. To love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. And adore you. And adore you. I will honor you. I will honor you. And I will always protect you. And I will always protect you. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. For better or for worse. For better yeah. or for worse. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Likewise, Rochelle, do you have a ring for your husband to do? I certainly do. Oh. In the same manner as you're placing the ring upon David's finger, I want you to look into his eyes. And from your heart, I want you to repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I, Rochelle. I, Rochelle. Take you, David. Take you, David. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I do solemnly swear. And I do solemnly swear. To love you. To love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. And adore you. And adore you. I will yeah. honor you. I will honor you. And I will always protect you. And I will always protect you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. For better or worse. For better or worse. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This time we're going to have the lighting of the unity candle. You're going to light, light your candle at this time. The holy amen coin. Where's a child? Unity candles represent two hearts that, that flame as one. And as you have come here today, today you will join together to be one. Hold hands. 
each other's eyes. I have a poem here also from Tracy Renee Charlotte. And it reads, I wonder if I dreamed of you, if you would appear, to make my nights full of love and always hold me near. I wonder if I thought of you, if you would feel it in your soul, like two spirits in the universe who always seem to know. Even if the stars went black and the sun were to shine no more, they could find their way to each other, no matter how far, to the, no matter how far the shore. Safely in each other's arms to bid the rest of time, finding eternal love so many seek to find. Caring for each other through the worst of storms, leaning on the arms of love and never need no more. This is how I feel for you. I've known it all along. You are my one true love, my world, my heart, my soul. For as much as David Hunting and Rochelle Starr have come here today and consented with the announcement of vows, and by the giving of rings to each other and showing their love one to another, by the power that is invested in me by God and by the state of Nevada, do I now pronounce you husband and wife. David, you may now kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. David Hunting, congratulations. All right.